Dubbed as Silicon Valley's most unlikely venture capitalist, Pejma Nozad has made a name of his own ever since he skyrocketed his fortune to a collective net worth of more than $20 billion. Welcome to our channel, and today we'll be presenting you the secret story of how Pejma Nozad made his first million dollars. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and to turn notifications on for more videos like this one. Without further ado, let's begin. Pejman Nozad's story is a literal rags to riches story, except that it happened in Silicon Valley instead of an ancient medieval kingdom. Let's take a look at how he began and what led him to achieve what he has today. Nozad arrived in the US back in 1992 with only $700 to his name and barely knowing any English. Nozad used to work as a sports journalist and had exhausted his small savings just within a few weeks. He managed to snag a job at a local yogurt shop, though he would eventually land another job at Medallion Rug Gallery in Silicon Valley. At the moment of his hiring, Medallion Rug Gallery sold Persian rugs, many of which had really high price tags. Some of these rugs could reach tens of thousands of dollars apiece, which means that many of Pejman's main customers and prospective clients were also affluent people. Many of these were top venture capitalists who also worked right there at Silicon Valley on Sand Hill Road. As he recalled in a September tweet, I dropped out of college in Iran and came to America with just a few hundred dollars. I didn't speak English. America opened its arms and gave me the opportunity to build a new beautiful life. Pejman developed a passion for investing while interacting with the venture capitalists eventually setting out to find the next greatest entrepreneurs, business ideas, and investments. This was all kick-started by him initiating conversations with clients while also selling them the Persian rugs. Pejman capitalized, no pun intended, his networking skills. He proceeded to invite local venture capitalists, CEOs, and founders to the Persian rug gallery. He even went around their houses to collect the syndicate checks and made himself helpful to these founders. Some noteworthy investors that attended these events include Drew Houston and Arash Ferdowsi, those who eventually would go on to found Dropbox. Andy Rubin was another major attendee who went ahead to create Android and later sell it to Google. That means that Nozad was among the first venture capitalists to fund Dropbox and Danger. It was not because of how wealthy they were, he told the Angel podcast in October 2017. These people were creating things with knowledge and I wanted to be one of them. I thought to myself, maybe this is the most important street in the world I am working on. And maybe this is the most important time of my life. I have to capture this. So my mindset changed. And that's one of the most important takeaways we can learn from Nozad's journey across entrepreneurship and investment. After a few years, he had built up an impressive network that included the most influential people in Silicon Valley. He convinced his boss, the owner of the rug store, the late Mr. Amir Amidi, to start a tech venture fund. I said, we don't know tech, but we know a lot of people who can provide advice, and we have the space and we can do a lot of events. This prompted them to start hosting events for investors and startups in the rug store. His boss agreed to start out with a $2 million investment and asked Nozad to put in 10%. Nozad didn't have $200,000, so his boss started deducting a portion of that amount from his monthly commissions from the sale of carpets. That caused him to start selling carpets and looking at startups at the same time, working as hard as he could for the next couple years. And the rest is history. Today, his companies are collectively worth more than $20 billion. So let's talk a little bit about his companies and major investments. His seed investments include Danger Research, acquired by Microsoft. Bix acquired by Yahoo, Sabio Labs acquired by Magma, PowerSet acquired by Microsoft, Voodoo acquired by Walmart, Dropbox, Zoosk, ClearSpring, Talkbox, Zeta, Webs.com, Social Gaming Network, SGN, Causes, Optrip, Melodis, Lightscape, Image, Quantena, Aprius, and Peekaboo. He is also the founding board member of iSuker.org. He has been instrumental in creating Plug and Play Tech Center the world's most successful technology community center, which has been home to more than 500 tech startups. He joined the Amidi Group in 1994 as VP of Business Development. 
Hamidi Group is a conglomerate of privately held business enterprises consisting of several domestic and international entities, with significant manufacturing, distribution, trading, retail and real estate holdings. He is also an angel investor. Nozad and his partner Mar Hershenson made their debut on the Midas list this year thanks to notable IPOs, including DoorDash. He was an investor in the seed round, which went public in December 2020, as well as Garden Health, AppLovin, and Dropbox. A soccer fanatic and one-time professional player, in 2014, Nozad was awarded the Ellis Island Medal of Honor, which celebrates American citizens who give back to their communities while maintaining connections with their ethnic heritage. However, Nozad is also quite humble regarding his success, crediting much of it to being in the right place at the right time. For example, Medallion, where he began hosting his network events, was located on University Avenue, a major north-south road in downtown Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Nozad is what many would call an insightful opportunist. He knew that he had to access some of the most important people in one of the most important places in one of the most important industries during its most important boom. Which is why he brought them together, obtained their contracts, got into their good graces, and rose to the top at a young age. However, looking back, Pejman also admits that finding great entrepreneurs today is quite difficult. Truly great entrepreneurs are greatly focused and you won't find many of these at networking events or conferences. Instead, they'll most likely be in full heads-down mode. Pejman is aware that to find these individuals, he needs a strong network that also provides key insight into up-and-coming entrepreneurs, like Affinity for example, which has allowed him to replicate the powerful physical networking environment he had created at Medallion. Summarizing today's video, some of the major takeaways we can learn from Nozad are the following. Number 1. No matter where you come from, if you have the willingness to learn, you can manage to achieve amazing things. Number 2. Networking is key in the entrepreneurship world. Knowing the right people at the right time and being able to make friends with them is a fantastic boon, especially in the world of tech. Number 3. Learning how to invest at a young age will definitely pay off in the long term as Nozod's venture capitalism and investing in promising pitches is what allowed him to earn as much as he has done today. So, what are your thoughts on all these lessons shared by Pejma Nozod? Do you agree with our major points today? Let us know in the comments below. And while you're at it, don't forget to leave us a like, share this video with your friends, and also subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. We hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time for more.